About four months ago, in April, this, along with some several other shiny locks, showed up the lock lab. And because this had master on the front of it, I kind of just figured, ah. And I threw it to the back of the challenge box, deep in those crevices, and never looked at it again until today when I happened to catch a glance of the tag. Hopefully a better master. This is, as I said, from Bill Clegg, and I, uh, that deserved a little bit closer look. So I turned it over and I noticed for the first time since I've had it, Bill went to the trouble to grind off all eight rivets from the bottom, pull out the lock, repin it. So hopefully master lock has some lessons to be learned here. And then replace seven out of the eight with these uh, Phillips screws to hold the plate in place. It looks completely normal. And I assumed it was just one that Bill wanted me to give away at some point. Obviously not. So let's go ahead and clamp it up rather than try to hold it in the package and everything. Um, I do have the keys hanging on the back of the string. These are, looks like stock keys that came with it. So it's a five pinner at least, maybe, maybe not. Let's clamp it up and see what we can do with it. All right, guys, I'm in the danger zone here. This is my second attempt on this master. Uh, for the first uh, attempt, I basically figured out my tensioning, grabbed a pick, and this is from the Rare Elements uh, collection. I think he calls this the Reach Plus. Anyway, I wasted the first 10 minutes trying to bully him, and I got nothing. It's got some pretty strong spring tension. I haven't tried the key yet, but hopefully we won't need to. I feel only five pins in here, so I don't think there's anything unexpected in that regard. I'm going to try to pick this one. The first time I tried it picking clockwise, and that's the way you open these. I'm going to try to pick this one counterclockwise because I think we can pick without the worry of the spring tension. It's just a theory, so I'm just going to try that. If we get it picked, it should give a little bit to like right about there, and then I'll get the spinner and then hopefully open them up. So let's give it a shot. Light tension, and see what we got. That was four. That was three. That was five. That was three again, he fallen back down. That's three, I pushed him up and he fell down. I pushed him up, fell down. So I'm gonna leave him alone for now. Okay, that was two. That was three. I got a single click and a very slight turn on the core. Three feels set and four felt set. One is the only binder. I think we got him. That was two. That was five. Ooh, that was one again, but I think I overset him. Yep, yeah. everybody else feels set. Let me try two. Two is the only binder, and he feels like he's all the way down. Oh, uh, if I didn't overset one, I sure overset two. Oh, one's back down. Let's give him another click. And there we go. It opens up in the counterclockwise. So that's another little trick. Bill, you're killing me. All right, let me try the key. Come off there. Make sure the key works. And God, thank God I wasn't embarrassed by a master lock. All right, there's what your bidding looks like. If you didn't catch a glimpse the first time around. And kind of clockwise, here we go. Bill has done this to me once before. Let's try it, see if it opens the other way. Probably, ah, it opens both ways. I don't know if that's normal or not, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let me gut him. 
I, it is nothing but seven screws. I think even I can handle that. Let me take it off of this package because this really kind of makes it clunky. Get everything out of here. Get that back on the tray. And find a Phillips. This is one of those things just can't, oh boy. All right, I was gonna say it's like the bolts on the head of a car. You get all of them out except one and that's the one that doesn't wanna loosen. I think it's that one. <laughs> okay, there's no Loctite on it, so it's probably just wrist tight, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. I don't wanna bore you guys with removing seven screws. All right, that last one was really super tight. No idea why, but uh, anyway, got him out without stripping him. It is only a five pin core, really innocent looking little thing. Let me set him down right here, get all this stuff out of here and get the pin tray in here. And let's see what Bill's done to us. Okay, it is one of the pinched cores. And these are the ones I always seem to screw up. All right, since it does open both ways, let's turn them like that. Put the crimped part right in the bottom of the keyway. And he will come out. The problem is because he's crimped, I can't get my follower in there. And I learned that the hard way more than once. So what I'm gonna do here, I could gut him backwards, but let's do this. Let's push him a little bit, give me access to that crimped part, and then maybe, I can uncrimp it enough to get the follower in there. And I can just, well, that wasn't part of the plan. Breaking that off was not part of the plan, but that's the way it played out. Okay, we got a, one of the pins coming out. Get back in there, you little devil. All right, um, try the follower. I am not gonna open it like that, though. Let's turn it. Let's turn it the way we normally do. Line it up like that. That ought to be about right. All right, still really tight, but at least we know it's not gonna fall out of there. All right, let's find out what Bill did to us. Take the key out, slide these up here, and see what we got. Serrated, serrated, standard. Serrated and serrated. Looks like we got threading in chamber two and chamber four. Let me turn this guy really tight in there. All right, come out. Serrated. Serrated, 
serrated. And let me guess, serrated. And the last one, oh, serrated. Got me right in the nose. Okay, all of these springs look to be the same height. I don't think there's anything unusual about them. Oh, we had two steel ones, but they were all the same height. So nothing too special about that. And the last one goes right there. And on the core, it looks like number one, three, and five, all serrated. So I thought there would be a lot of really unusual stuff on the side of here based on the way this was acting. I think probably the spring tension is stronger in the clockwise direction than counterclockwise, which let me get a little bit better feel and a little bit better control of the tensioning when coming out. But I gotta say, a few serrations in here, and you got you master lock guys, you throw in a couple of serrated pins from the American uh, padlock production line, and you have got a beast of a lock. Model 15, with Bill Clegg's modifications, I gotta say, I mean, I know you guys say it was a 10, but in reality, with normal pins, it's probably about a three at best. But for sure, it's a 10 with uh, Bill Clegg's mods. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Bill, I'm sorry it took so long to this. Next time, I don't know, make it shiny, then I'll grab it first. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, I can't give away Bill Clegg's improved master lock because I'm gonna send that to the company, let them learn a few lessons from it. So instead, I'm gonna give away this stuff. This is all brand new. This is a brand new multi-pick jackknife. These are getting more and more difficult to find. This one comes preloaded, and this is the version that comes with every single tip that multi-pick makes. So you can configure this knife exactly the way you want it with all these extra tips. In addition to that, I'm gonna give you one of these things. Now, I know it looks like an MRE, but I was in the Army for a long time, and I would not do that to you. Instead, inside of this shrink wrap pouch is one of these guys. A little camouflage cover holds one of these Praxis kits. This is, this is a dual gauge kit from UK Bump Keys. It comes in 15 thousandths and also 23 thousandths, along with pretty much every tensioner you can imagine. All shrunk wrap inside of here. So if you'd like to win both of these things next Saturday, it's easy. All you do, go to that website. In the middle of the page is a purple button that says Weekend Giveaway. Click on it, register, and with a little luck, my webmaster will draw your name to win all this cool stuff next weekend. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal. Oh, yeah, please subscribe, hit the like button, and share these videos on social media. Yeah, I'm slow, but I am learning. Thanks, guys. Hold on, before you leave, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that notification bell as well. If you'd like to be a sponsor, click there, and for five bucks a month, you get all kinds of benefits. If that's not enough free stuff, hit the Lock Lab. We've got a self-paced lock picking course with over a dozen modules at the bottom of the page. Join the tribe, subscribe, 